Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know my hair's crazy. I just woke up. But um I just wanted to say um being alone has been pretty tough for me. Um it's been almost a year now, right? <laughs> Dealing with you know your emotions, your feelings, your thoughts, and not a lot of people talk about this. Um Sometimes when you're going through things, I should say myself, right? What I went through. I tend to think that my thoughts are the realistic life I live. Which is over analyzing everything and how my life is right now. Not being grateful for what I have right now. But I constantly be thinking about what I don't have. I don't have health insurance. I don't have a good job or a steady job. Um, I just quit school just yesterday. Um, just, I mean, I can't even concentrate, right? <laughs> Concentrating and stuff for me at this moment of my life has been tough. Haven't been able to focus on anything I do, um, not even my content. Um, I am going through a tough time, honestly, um, mentally. So even like, sometimes I feel like I'm not present. Like I met so many great people along going to school right now and still talk to them or her, I should say. Um, I'm more like a one person kind of person, um, one on one. I don't really hang with the groups. That's just me. I am. I was always like that. I don't like hanging with groups because it just takes a lot of energy out of me. Um, it's not that it's my comfort zone. It's just that I rather just be with one person because that way I can get to know one person, truly. Because in a group, you can't really get to know anybody. But um, yeah, um, I guess just going through it. Um, I am starting therapy like next week. <laughs> I haven't done that in a while. I did that as a kid after a car accident I had. Um, I did like, I did had like, what, what types of problems did I have? Um, sorry, I, 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 I'm trying to think what, what kind of, I guess I had problems with, I guess the way I look, right? You know, I have this scar now for the rest of my life. It was much worse as a kid, so, you know, dealing with bullying and stuff like that, um, it was tough, um, making friends and just putting yourself out there, um, and then it's like, the way it was back then, I am now still kind of shy around people, in groups, I go to the market, I feel like I'm in tune with myself, like everybody's watching me, I get super, I don't know, paranoid with things. It's it's just so strange how sometimes I can't even explain what exactly is going, what I'm going through. I just pinpoint little sections. I can't really be direct with people, um, stuff like that. Uh, yeah, like again, it's it's been a challenge, um, especially like going back to like the past right last year it just affected me so much and I the one I miss the most is my ex a lot I want to cry <laughs> um I feel like he tremendously like affected me in a good and a bad way but I tend to look at the good things we've kind of connected and stuff like that is just um just living with living with that and just living here makes me think about him a lot more so sometimes it's just like opening up about my feelings makes me makes me really sad but i feel like i need to feel these things my, my feelings are valid and stuff um i just never loved somebody so much in my life so knowing that i am vulnerable it is hard it is really hard I, it's hard for me to live like just living by myself and being with being I don't know just just being alone 
has just really affected me in a tremendous way. Like, I know now I am the problem. I get angry at myself. I, I criticize myself. I, I don't tend to be happy as much as I used to. Joy, like I, I don't even know what joy is for me anymore. Like, like I know as humans, we all go through different things and we're not always gonna be happy every day. But me, I have been like this depressing mood for like this whole year, this whole entire year. Waking up every day has been like, here we go, here we go. And I have to push myself enough to motivate myself to at least go for a walk, to do something. And, you know, when I went back to school, I was like, oh, you know, I could do this. I could do this just to distract myself. I do things to distract myself. Like I do, I went to school to distract myself and also I used to go to work, but I never held the job. Like I never held it so long other than a retail job, which was a year, but I can't hold it. I just can't like, I, I get bored. I just, I don't get the thing I, I want as in like, I want to feel motivated to, to be at work. I want to be passionate about it. But I feel like when I do YouTube, I feel like the way I express myself, the way I do things, it, it brings me some type of content, contentment. Like I'm calm with it. And I'm, I'm vulnerable even talk, talking to you about my feelings and just going through this kind of stuff. It's just not easy guys. Like I have my ups and downs, but lately I just been down a lot. Um, but again, I, I am grateful as of now to have made friends. I, I've even opened up to going to church. Um, I was so dismissive about that church. Every time I hear it, I'm like, oh, no thanks. No thanks, no thanks. But I think something like this could kind of help, especially like people like my age um, can really be affected in a good way. Ever since I went to that church maze that they made in Whittier, I was like, that changed my life. I don't know if you guys ever been to a church maze. I never been, so I went, and it just showed so much, so much like stuff we go through. Like they went through through the maze. It's like real life stuff. Like you know, uh, sex trafficking. They had like um, like suicides. They had um, parties that were like all con drugs and then people injecting themselves. Like all this stuff in the maze was just so traumatizing, but in a way that it it kind of tells you like, this is the, the type of life we go through in the dark, in a dark way. And how people handle their, their dark times. Me doing things sober, honestly, has been the worst. Like I don't do any alcohol or drugs to to maintain my depression. I feel my feelings and again, I avoid it. My drug is working distractions, like even meeting people. I would think that that was my distraction, like meeting a man. It's just like a, a distraction. I know it's messed up, but I just do things for distraction. And I don't, I don't like to deal with my feelings because it's so heavy. And I just wanted to be honest with it, you know, honest with you guys. Like, I'm sure there's someone out there that probably feels the same way and we kind of cope in a different in a different way but um yeah i mean it's been it's been a challenge this year just getting used to things alone and it still is i'm not gonna lie I'm not finished with it still dealing with stuff um but um yeah it's just being open to things that you haven't done before in a good way um, open to making new friends, talking to new people. Um, I don't know, just being open about stuff. I think that's a good thing to do. Um, because if, if you stay in your comfort zone, like a lot, like I have, you, you kind of won't meet anybody. But knowing that I went out there and my friend pushed me that I met in school um, to go open, I'm, I was open to go to church the church mate she invited me in and then even then like 
just even going to church, I was just thinking about it, like, you know, it's a good idea. You know, I, I need some spiritual stuff. I need, I need to be with God. So stuff like that right now, that's where I'm at. Um, yeah, and I, I'm trying to figure myself out. And it's not pretty. It's not pretty. <laughs> it really isn't. Um, it's been emotional. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I've been an emotional person since I was a little kid. And, and now everything's affecting me, as in dealing with my trauma and past. That's something that's so heavy with me and my pain that I can't use pain as strength as others can. So, me, I have to deal with it. That way I can let go of all of it. Um, but I know sometimes you just gotta deal. And I'm trying to learn about myself and what I need. And it's just taking that time, taking that time for yourself. If you can do that, you know, take the time to do that. So I, I do better when it's like slow paced. That's just how I work. You know, at a job, you kind of need to be in a, in a quick manner. And I know sometimes people say like, oh, you don't have to be like that. You know, you don't have to be multitasker and stuff like that. But I literally have to do things slowly for me to understand. So me, this fast paced environment has just not helped whatsoever. Um, I just think about a lot of things, especially at this age at 30, right? I think about, oh my God, am I gonna find a, am I gonna find a husband soon? Am I gonna have my kids? in the future like am i gonna find a home like all these things as a woman it's it, it just takes a lot of thinking and it's not something you're gonna get really fast you know but i just know that somebody out there could probably relate to me about i don't know just going through the motions in life you know and being vulnerable letting it out there because it's not glitz and glam out here especially for us normal people. You know, the celebrities that have been doing whatever they've been doing for since they were a child, you know, it's it's different. It's a different journey. But as for me, you know, I'm, I'm a normal person. You know, I don't have a huge crowd. I don't really have close family. So I kind of deal things alone a little bit. And um, there's not a lot of connection I have. The only connection I have is, it's a friend I just met. We have a lot of connection now. She's she's pretty cool. She's younger than me, but nevertheless, I learned a lot from her. Just her positivity and stuff like that. Like, she's cool, man. And I can never make friends my age in a way because, I don't know. It just, I just haven't came across that. So far, I've met someone that was 35. But she has a family and kids. And sometimes I can't relate because I don't know what it's like. I mean, I would like to know in the future if I ever have the chance to. Um, I just like to have somebody that's like single like me and have no kids. That way we're able to get to know each other. Um, that way I don't feel as pressured, you know. Um, at least that's how I feel about things. But yeah, um, I hope this helps. hope some someone out there can relate to something I said. Um, yeah, it's it's just been difficult just getting to be with someone in a relationship. Right now I'm just talking to somebody. Um, I don't even know where it's going to go and I don't know. The uncertainty I got to be okay with. I always want things to be guaranteed, don't we all, right? But yeah. That's where I'm at with things. And thanks thanks for just listening. My run-ons and my wherever I went with this, you know, I just I'm just being vulnerable here with you guys. And I'm glad I got the chance to um do the content right now. Um, just as I am. You know, because you don't have to be perfect in order to make a video. Your hair doesn't have to be done. You know, it takes a lot of guts just to push yourself to do something. So here I am, and there you are. <laughs> I think you guys are, are amazing just, just hearing people out. You know, everybody has a life story. Everybody has some type of way of expressing themselves. And I find it really awesome. 
and I think you guys are awesome too. You know, you guys affect all of us as a whole in, in YouTube. So, in a great way. Um, yeah. Alright, well, happy Halloween you guys. And I hope you guys have a great Halloween. And many more to come. And thanks for listening. Love you guys. Bye. And also, thank you for 507 subscribers. You guys are amazing. Just when I saw that yesterday, I haven't been on YouTube for a little bit, so when I saw it, I was like, oh my god, that's freaking awesome. Like, people, you know, are liking my content. I appreciate that. You guys are amazing. You know that? You guys are amazing. I love you guys. Bye.